All right, guys, this is going to be a super quick video. We have one major networking hack, and I have the ultimate guest, probably the best networking person in the world that will deliver it to you right now instantly. But, you know, let's get it. Let's go. Wow, powerful stuff. But in all seriousness, let's talk about some real actual tips on how to network with major artists and producers better and what else you can do. So without further ado. Hit that smash button and like it. Subscribe, it's awesome. What's going on, Big Brain Gang? It's Garrett from Track Sounds, multi-time Billboard charting music producer and music marketing expert, here to give you some more game on how to network with some of these major artists and producers out there. I've been lucky enough to have tons of Billboard records. I've accounted over a billion streams on all the songs I've done. I have over 200 songs in my ASCAP catalog alone, and a lot of them still generate a good bit of royalties to this day. So when I talk about networking, things like that, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. I don't say that to just brag or put it in your face about it, I do that more to motivate and show you that these tactics actually work. I'm a good producer. I am by far not a amazing producer, the best producers ever walked the earth. I'm just somebody that has stayed consistent and been working at this for years. And I know that you can't fail until you quit. So I'm gonna give you a few tips that I've learned along the way. I have five different tips and I think I saved the best for last, but you have to watch all the way through and figure it out for yourself what you think. I do have a question of the day though. What is it that you struggle with the most with networking? Is it the hard part talking with artists, producers? Like where is it that you're finding? Are they not answering? Are they not listening? Do you not, do you not think you're fitting what they're looking for? Or you're not at that level? Level yet? Let me know in the comments below what you think you're struggling with with the networking side, and maybe we can work through it together. The first main tip I have, and this is a huge one, is follow up. Please follow up. Don't send out beats one time and get discouraged. Always follow up. In sales, they teach you you've got to follow up at least seven to eight times to get some of these sales, and a lot of them, 70 to 80%, don't get done until the third or fourth time you go after them. This is a lot about selling as well, even if you're trying to get placements and network and things like that, so follow up. Make a database. If you're not good with Excel spreadsheet or something like that, write it down, put it in your phone, something. That way you have all the contacts you get with their emails right by it, and then go through that monthly or whatever you think, You know, have a priority list and have one that you just consistently Consistently send stuff to and check in with. You don't have to say, hey, did you hear my beats or hear my songs? Just follow up and say, hey, here's a new song. Here's some new beats. That's how you can get their attention again. If they listen to the other things, you're gonna probably, they're, you know, they're just not even gonna have a response to it if they didn't like it. Just show them that you're continuously working. Send them some new stuff. Don't get discouraged. They don't answer. Just follow up, I promise. The second tip I have is learn to record. I know this may sound like something you don't wanna do, which I completely understand, but at the same time, if you can learn to record, you will have so much more value and be able to work with so many more people. Turn it up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I've gotten a lot of my placements just because I could simply record or I had a music studio. If I had beats and nobody was there to record, how do you get a song done with a major artist? If somebody comes into town where you're at or even a smaller artist or anything like that, if you can't simply record, it's gonna you're gonna have to pay somebody to be there to record. You're gonna have to find a studio, all these things like that. If you have your own small home recording studio that you work with on your own, you'll learn a lot of valuable things that you'll need going forward. Knowledge. Then if you need a studio, you don't have to have an engineer there. You can find studios that, a lot of studios in, in LA and Houston, they'll let you book them without having an engineer if you can do it yourself. This is a cheat code to be able to really work with people, collab, and build up a lot of networking things. Hey, Rico, who is that? This takes a little time to learn, but the more you practice yourself, you'll get better at it. So don't get discouraged, keep working at it. I do have a video that I just put out to get a recording studio for your home for under 500 bucks. Some of them are under 300 bucks. I'll put that above and in the description below. So check out that and let me know if you have any questions. The third thing that I found really important for artists or producers especially is mention people in your IG story. Something about when people see the mentioned you in their story in their DMs, they always tend to look at that more than just regular message. I've seen it from bigger artists and things like that. Anytime I mention them or put up a you know a beat and them say, hey, who do you think sounds good on this beat? And then I mention, you know, an artist, artist one and artist two in a poll. Artists usually watch that, or if I, you know, put up a beat and I'm saying, hey, I feel like this is for such and such and tag them in it. Or as an artist, you've like, or a songwriter, you put up a song and say, this sounds like something 
such and such would cut, or this sounds like something that I could hear such and such on on a remix. You know, if you really want to work with one, someone, that's a really good way to get their attention. Obviously, the bigger they are, the harder it is to get their attention on social media in general. But mentioning either the mid or smaller artists, or in some of the large artists, you'll get their attention by doing that, mentioning them in your story. Fourth tip I have is remix of song of theirs, or a beat, or anything like that. If there's a producer you're wanting to work with, remix a beat of theirs, do a duet on TikTok, a remix reel on IG, anything like that that you can do, even, you know, lease a beat from them, something like that. Just break some bread with them and go from there. One way that always gets my attention is when anybody even leases a beat or anything like that from me, I always am going to respond to them and check their songs and, and be paying attention to it because I'm invested in the, the art as well. So don't be afraid to grab an, a famous person's song or a mid-level person's song, anything that you're trying to really network with, and make your own flair to it, do something like that, promote it on your Instagram stories and things like that. People will like that because you're helping promote them and they might be able to check out your talent and see what you're really rocking with. And then the fifth tip and the really big one, this is called the Dream 100. I've heard quite a few people talk about this, and this is a really good way to find out who you're really wanting to work with and go after them. Basically, make a list of 100 people that you want to work with. This is tough. It is tough to come up with 100. I've done it before, and it is hard to come up with 100 different people, whether it's artists, producers, managers, DJs, anything like that, uh, blogs, record label, whatever. Come up with 100 different contacts that you want to work with. And then each day for the next 100 days, go after one of those. Whether it's you're finding the manager under them, the artist that's signed to their artist, the producer that's signed to the same manager who manages this art. Like, find connections in all types of ways. Any way you can get to that one person the best way you can. Put in as much effort you can that day to find a way to get to them. If, you know, if it doesn't happen, you can always put them to the back of the list and keep trying again. But keep going after this hunter. It's tough to get to there, but this is such a good way to really stay consistent and stay on the, the path that you're going after to find people that really will help you boost your career. There is no gatekeepers in music. There's not one person that's gonna open the door and you're the floodgates and you're gonna make it on. But a combination of a lot of networking, a lot of marketing, really good music, and just some faith and hard work and consistency can get you to the places that you really wanna get to. I'm still getting there myself. I'm not even close to where I wanna get to, so keep following me in the journey as well because I am going on the same path as you and I'm rooting for you as well. So let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that below. Until next time, appreciate y'all watching as always. Peace. Smash it. Smash the like button, please. Like this channel. Garrett is awesome and he loves Big Ed and Big Ed loves Garrett, okay?